I wanted to do a short video on the BG7 TBL GPS disciplined oscillator unit, the, uh, the GPS DO here on the left hand side. Probably been seeing these on eBay a lot. Uh, these units are quite cost effective. I think they're only about $120 US. So, uh, but I also got the other day a uh, 10 megahertz OCXO frequency standard uh, 10 megahertz distribution amplifier, which is also made by BG7 uh, TBL, as I had a bit of a need for more than one 10 megahertz output. So what I thought I'd do is this uh, video on uh, both of these units, and uh, we'll open them up and see how they perform. I've got the uh, oscilloscope uh, there in, in front of me, so we can look at the waveforms as well, and also how much uh, level we get out of these units. So with these two units, what I'll do is put a link in the description to each of them where you can buy them from eBay. Um, I'll also put a link into the description of uh, the uh, location of where you can buy attenuators if you need to bring the signal down that comes out of these units. So first of all is the BG7 TBL uh, GPSDO. So we've got uh, on the front panel uh, alarm uh, red LED, which lights up when the internal OCXO, the oven controlled crystal oscillator is not uh, uh, up to temperature or not uh, stable. Uh, there's a GPS lock LED as well, which indicates uh, that we've got GPS stability or GPS locked, and then run, which just indicates that it's running. Uh, the RS232 port here, uh, there's some pin details. There's transmit data on pin two, receive data pin three, and we've also got one pulse per second on pin eight. So uh, out of our transmit and receive data is uh, uh, the NEMA data which we can use uh, with whatever application we need. Uh, one pulse per second out of this BNC and also 10 megahertz out of uh, the other BNC. We've also got uh, the GPS antenna which I've got a BNC on here at the moment but if we undo that it's actually an SMA for a GPS antenna. These, comes, these come with a little GPS uh, mouse uh, sort of a puck antenna uh, that you can connect on there which work quite well however I've got an external antenna which I use so we'll open it up and have a look uh, what's inside okay so the uh, case has been removed I'll pop that off to one side so if we have a look inside here, we've got uh, the PCB, we've got a, uh, a OCXO, a 10 megahertz OCXO, it doesn't really have a, a brand or a, any sort of uh, identifier on it. Uh, there's a couple of different models that you can get. I've seen different OCXOs um, through whatever models you get. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is, is that mine has a build date of 2016, so mine's a couple of years old. Um, the newer ones are obviously 2019, so they might have a different uh, different 10 megahertz uh, oven. Uh, we've got the connection for the, the GPS, and uh, if we flip the board over, we can see all the surface mount stuff uh, going on here. And uh, of key is the uh, the GPS receiver in the, uh, the top right-hand corner. Uh, these do power an active antenna, so they do have uh, power on the uh, GPS port, so... Um, I guess just be careful not to short the, the GPS antenna when you're using these and uh, you can uh, uh, yeah, run an active antenna off of them. Uh, just the PCB mounts for the, uh, for the connections on the front. So that's uh, basically all they are. So now the same, we move on to the uh, distribution amplifier. So all of this, all this is, takes uh, one 10, 10 megahertz input and uh, gives us eight 10 megahertz outputs for running uh, various devices without loading each other down. Uh, same as the uh, GPSDO, we've got uh, an alarm light, uh, 10 megahertz in light for detecting that uh, this input, and also a power LED. There's also a frequency adjust uh, on this. Now there's two different versions of these distribution amplifiers you can get. One with an OCXO installed, like on that GPS, uh, or this one that I've got doesn't have, a, uh, doesn't have an OCXO in it. Uh, I didn't need that for my application because uh, if the if the 10 megahertz uh, disappears here, uh, then you don't get anything out of these outputs. However, I'm using it with that other GPS unit which has the OCXO in it, so the 10 megahertz should never disappear unless the power disappears from the uh, 
the GPSDO. So I didn't need it, um, but yeah, there are two versions that you can purchase. So uh, we'll go and have a look and see what's inside this. Okay, very similar build design to uh, the, the GPS units. We can see the input that goes in. Uh, all of the BNC connectors uh, go down to a, a PCB, a power supply uh, filtering here. And uh, just lots of uh, surface mount stuff, resistors and buffers and all that sort of thing. Now we've had a look inside. What we'll do is uh, connect the GPS unit up to the, uh, the DSO, Digital Storage Oscilloscope. And we'll have a look at what the output is. I'll connect the uh, antenna up. So I've just got uh, an outdoor um, antenna, which is on top of the roof. Gives a nice clear, uh, a nice clear uh, outlook of the, the sky for where the satellites are. And I've just got a standard BNC cable, which is gonna go straight into the, the 10 megs output of this GPS. Um, channel 2, I'm using channel 2 on my crow because channel 1's broken. So we'll put some power on this. We can see there that the alarm, the alarm light's on because uh, the frequency is um, running off the internal uh, OCXO. It's uh, not exactly locked. GPS locks just come up. Really, really quick lock. Doesn't take very long at all. And uh, that alarm lead will stay on for uh, probably a couple of minutes while it uh, stabilizes. There's a nice uh, sine wave. So these, the other thing about these GPS units is you can get them in both a sine wave and also a square wave. Uh, mine's a, obviously a sine wave, as you can see. The peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltage of that is uh, 6.12 volts. I think it's around about 6 volts, yeah, peak-to-peak. -peak. The, uh, the frequency down the bottom's uh, not quite reading 10 megahertz, but uh, the internal reference of the oscilloscope is probably not as good as the GPS obviously so uh, there's a little bit of a frequency difference there. So that's uh, the level that comes out of uh, the, the BG7 uh, TBL GPS unit. As a different test I've uh, hooked the GPS unit up to my spectrum analyzer so what we can do is have a look and see what the uh, what this looks like I plug in the right uh, level. Bring the reference level down a little bit more. There we go. So that's what the uh, the output looks like on the uh, the spectrum analyzer. So 14 dBm output out of this unit, which can be a little bit high depending on what um, your application is. But you can easily buy those BNC uh, 10 dB pads uh, to put on. Uh, uh, in front of the GPS and then in that way what that will do is reduce that output level to around 0 dBm which is uh, more than enough drive for most uh, applications that you need. Now we can hook up the distribution amplifier so it's just a simple matter of connecting the 10 megahertz input to the output of the, the GPS unit like so and we'll just uh, connect our output of the distribution amplifier to the existing BNC I had before. Now we just need to power on the power on the distribution amplifier and straight away you can see that there's no alarm lead, no OCXO in this uh, unit. It's detecting 10 megs uh, in and power. Connect that to the crow. And we've got a very similar level to what we had before, uh, six volts uh, peak to peak. Obviously, if we change outputs, we get that on every output. So we get uh, very similar, that's five and a half volts. So maybe there's a little bit of variation there. Number five output, yep, five and a half volts. So the other thing that we can do because these units have NEMA data is connect a standard uh, COM port, uh, connect it to a standard COM port of any computer, and uh, we can view the data that's coming out. Now uh, you can have a look here on the Visual GPS, this is a running Visual GPS software which is free to download, and we've got all of the signal quality of the various uh, GPSs uh, here in that top window. And we can also see where they're located uh, on, a, uh, on a map. So uh, this uh, changes obviously over time. 
and uh, also uh, gives us a, uh, a latitude and uh, longitude as well as an altitude of the uh, of uh, where we are. So um, this will get uh, more and more uh, accurate uh, the longer that it samples. So uh, a good little uh, good little program to run um, that we can get data out of. And you can see here we've got 12 satellites, uh, 3D fix, and uh, as uh, as it continues to, to log data, we can get a more accurate uh, uh, location and uh, altitude. Uh, also handy too for uh, timing as well. If you uh, want to plug this into your computer to use it as a timing source, you can also do that too. So that's the BG7 uh, TBL GPS DO and the uh, distribution amplifier. Um, very cheap, good for the shack, uh, for all sorts of projects that you might want uh, that sort of frequency standard or even one pulse per second if you need that. Very good little units.